Welcome, everybody. This is slightly different, isn't it? We've gone to Spain. Birmingham, Manchester, York, London, Newcastle, Edinburgh. No, we're in Spain. And we've got Anna all the way from Spain. And, of course, Pete. Uh, Anna, let's hear a little bit more about Barcelona. Sure. Thanks for the opportunity. I'm very excited to introduce Barcelona and Antares to your audience. Um, Barcelona, everybody knows, it's the capital of, of Catalonia, which is the region in Spain, in the north East. And why Barcelona? Why Barcelona is interesting as a city? Well, it's a city with passion, okay? We have nice beaches, good weather, we have a high quality of living, we have, of course, the football team, great gastronomy, and you know, an, an appetite for, for enjoying life, which I think that nowadays after the pandemics, people are, are valuing even more or, uh, you know, appreciating good things in, in life. We are in a privileged location. We are connected by air. We have a, one of the most important airports in Europe. And we are very good connected by, by air, by boat, by railways, etc. We have a, a, a very, you know, uh, important diversified economic activity. We have a lot of uh, companies, uh, small and, you know, and SMEs companies that are almost 95% of all the number of companies. So it's very segmented and very, and very diversified. We have a lot of uh, entrepreneurs in town. Barcelona, it's uh, by, since their inception, it's a, um, uh, a, a land uh, that grows a lot of entrepreneurs and a, a lot of uh, new companies. Why is that? Because we have a lot of technology, a lot of um, uh, hub centers. You know, all the companies are moving here to Barcelona because everybody, the talent wants to live in town. So since the talent is the most important asset at the moment for companies, uh, headquarters need to follow this talent and they place their, their hubs in Barcelona. And this has been that we are one of that we are the top five regions in the world for for economic activity. Then we have good uh, schools, good schools, and you know, in general, we have a lot of uh, good life, quality of life. We have internationals. The internationals uh, account for twenty four percent of all the you know the inhabitants of here. Anna, um, uh, Anna, already, and, and please encourage people to write, ask questions in at the bottom of the screen. I've already got a question in, bit cheeky, okay. bit cheeky. Uh, but um, one of the claims we have at Holborn Property is that Pete walks the bricks. So every property we, property we, we recommend to our clients, whether it be in Manchester, London, whatever, uh, Pete actually goes up there in his Ford Anglia and has a look around. So the question is, Pete. Have you had a look at this one? I certainly have. I was invited over with um, Anna to meet her and her team, uh, and I've walked all every single floor on the on the building. It's a superbly impressive building, very very well connected. And the one thing you pick up when you're in Barcelona is it's a very young, vibrant, um, tech high earning um, city, and it feels that. The, uh, and since I was last in Barcelona, I've been there a good number of times. Um, I, I think it's it's really come forward. Part of the reason for that, one at one time, Barcelona had a bit of an issue with um, pickpockets. The police have dealt with it. Let's just mm -hmm. put it that way. It's absolutely amazing. And I did witness um, how they deal with people. It's robustly. That's the only way I can describe it. So it, it, it's got a wonderful feeling. The mm -hmm. building itself, when you go up on the top floors and you're looking across to the mountains in the distance and the whole of the city and across to the sea, it feels absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's true. I mean, it's a touristic city. Tourism is an important sector for us, and it brings a lot of attention for, for tourists and is the typical problems of a city, but it's true that it's a problem that has been dealt successfully. And we feel that we are in a very safe city. And, and it, it definitely is that. Uh, I mean, certainly, the, I, what I would say as well is the, the, the way that people dress reflects Barcelona. They're very chic. And, and it, you know, okay, it's a French word, but chic is correct. Um, this is a, a happening place. So, for instance, as I'm sure Anna would tell you, you've got the, uh, the America's Cup 
come into town any minute. Exactly. And, um, you know, it's, it's the second or third largest hub for cruise ships in the world, not just in, in Europe. Um, mm -hmm. I'm lucky enough to say that Southampton's slightly bigger than Barcelona's for cruise ships. <laughs> uh, mind you, I can also then go and say, well, we did have the Titanic turn up and leave there as well. That one, one to mention. But if, if you can just um, enthuse, please, Anna, about your experience. And one thing I will say, Anna's lived in England for mm -hmm. four years. Um, she's lived in London and she also lived in Bristol. So she's yeah. got great knowledge. And she also loves Cornwall. We have yeah. a we have a um, a, a love-in on Cornwall, as does Chris Allen. He also spent a lot of time in Cornwall. Um, yeah. But the, the opportunity here is to buy superb property in the right location with great uh, fundamentals. As you all know, I always look at every single property. I want to know what the yields are going to be, what yeah. the capital growth is going to be. Is it a place that's going up? Is it a place that's crested and perhaps on the down? I would say to you that Barcelona still has one hell of a long way to go. And this is why I highly recommend uh, to all any of you international clients and wealth managers that you can recommend this with confidence. It's a superb yep. opportunity to buy in to the best building in Barcelona. Yep. That's thanks. Thanks. It's actually true. And I had, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to live in many other cities, which are fantastic. London is fantastic. But you know, the feeling that you have here in Barcelona is that you are still in an economic region that it's growing and it's gloomy and it's going really well. But that you are also having the chance to live in a city that is not as expensive that you can enjoy life more, that you have access to, you know, to going skiing in one hour. You can go to the islands, to, you can take a 30 minutes plane to Ibiza or Menorca. And the quality of life that you have in Barcelona is, it's super, it's super. It's very, um, it's quite unbeatable, to be honest. You are in, in two hours, you are in Madrid. In uh, one hour, you are in most of the capitals of, of Europe. So you are truly in a city that is very comfortable. Okay. So this, and then we, we have this, so, uh, this building here that uh, has the standards because in Barcelona, there are the, the, the place to grow. I'll show you a little bit where we are connected. If we start talking about the mapping, we are connected in one edge of the city in an area called Diagonal Mar Forum, which is an area which was built um, after the Olympic Games. Because Barcelona, initially, we didn't have like a, a city beach. And thanks to, to the Olympic Games in 1992, we started to the, develop the, the shoreline of Barcelona. So we built the Port Olympic, and then we built this area in the middle. And the last stage was to develop the Forum. And that is where Antares sits just by in front of the beach and you have the feeling of being in the city but you also have the, the the feeling that you are kind of like in a holiday place which is the the best out of the two the two feelings and and that's why where we have a marina in front port forum marina and you are connected like in 10 in 15 minutes you can be in the city center but of course you can be in five minutes you can be at the beach lovely then uh, uh, this is a little bit to explain this technology that we mentioned before, that we become a hub of technology. We are holding the Mobile World Congress every year, so that gives a lot of, of you know, attractiveness to the city. So if we move to talk about Antares already, it was built by, created by a studio Odilde, which is a French architect. She's one of the top 10 female architects in the world. And she has won a lot of awards. And um, she has this, these shapes that is, are very roundy and very beautiful and using uh, very diff different colors, no? Mostly using red and, and black and white. So Dil Deck is our, our artist. The, the project was uh, developed by Shatesbury Asset Management, which is a fund based in Luxembourg and Geneva. And the interior design was made by HVA in London, which I know that probably you know, right? Because they are very, very good. 
the building won the award of the best uh, from European Property Awards, the best new development uh, building in Barcelona. And it's one, the first tower, what we can call like a Miami style tower in front of the beach with uh, 30 stories, 88 uh, units of different sizes from one bedroom to very large units, also um, duplexes and penthouses, but all with very high standards. So, so this I just is wanted enough. to say, Anna, there's wonderful show apartments and that there for people to go and see in the various exactly. different levels. It's superbly exactly. impressive. This is our entrance. We offer concierge service, which is very unique for, for Barcelona standards. Um, you know, we are talking about a project that you can, you, you know, it can appeal to many international clients because it's, it's they are in the same frequency, right? In Barcelona, it's very hard to find this type of apartments. So we have a lobby with uh, entry concierge. We have a restaurant here with a Michelin star chef. But, you know, the appearance and everything is very beautiful. We have uh, also great amenities. We have a rooftop pool. We have an indoor pool. We have very large gyms with a spa, paddle tennis courses. You will see some pictures here. This is our rooftop pool with you know, views to across all the city and the sea. We can see the America's Cup uh, boats now training every day, which is very exciting. And in August, we are hosting the America's Cup until October. So the city is going to be very busy with international clients that I'm sure that um, there could be potential clients. This is our gym, our indoor pool which uh, creates like this image because we have uh, stainless steel in the ceiling and you, it gets a very interesting reflection when you swim. We have a yoga pot that won an award of design at the Biennale of Venice already. Garden. That's an amazing, that's an amazing pod. Um, uh, Anna got me to go and stand in there and it's, it, it gives you a really, wow, weird feeling. I've got some photographs which Anna took of me in there. And it's it, it's can, yeah. absolutely stunning. It you can it, it, it's like very zen and very nice. You get a very nice and quiet feeling. This is more pictures of um, how it looks. This is our restaurant downstairs, as mentioned, run by Roman Formenay, who is a Michelin star chef. This is our lobby. We have all, you know, 25% of the space, built the space at Antares is outdoor, it's terraces. So we have this connection between the interior and the exterior that is very appealing. And if we already talk about, you know, the different layouts, we can, you know, on the first floors from the second to the seventh, we have one or two bedroom apartments in the range of between 1.2 and 1.8 million each. These are like fantastic piedatairs for people that are don't want to spend that much money, but they have beautiful bedrooms, uh, very exterior bathrooms, very bright and spacious. If we move to the central part of the building, we we have three bedroom apartments in there. These are investments from two million point two to four million, and we have three apartments per floor. You know, beautiful features as well, built-in closets. As we go higher, the size of the apartments become even bigger. Here we have 19, 20, and 21, only two apartments per floor. And we have the four bedroom apartments in there. Again, and then we have the duplexes, which of course are amazing and stunning. Because They're absolutely they stunning, Anna. When you go into those duplexes, you know you you would any any person would love to live in them. They are very very special. Uh, very there's special. a real connectivity as well with every single item within those duplexes, where there are specific types of curves. It's hard to explain to people without physically seeing it. But yeah. if you look at that little chair, which you can see um, there, uh, the wooden one, that also flows through to the kitchens, to the work surfaces, to the bedrooms, to the baths. It's yeah. really superbly worked through. It's highly impressive. 
Yeah, and the materials you use are very fine, and you know that the interior, the the architect thought about all the details inside as well. This is how it looks. You can see Barcelona, and then the sea on the other side, and then finally we have two units for penthouses. The developer would like to to sell both to the same or buyer potentially because we think that who buys this at this height uh, would like to be alone in the in the whole floor but we can also always uh, study the offers but this is the most in incredible unit in the uh, across of uh, barcelona by far I mean, it's worth mentioning the price on those they're 15 million each mm -hmm. uh, so if you want the whole of the floor it's 30 million there are people that we've got within our midst that um, some of you, some of you wealth managers, have got people that would quite happily spend that money for. Uh, this oh, is a trophy asset. Yeah, it's just it's perfect for people with um, you know serious money to have something that nobody else can get. There's nothing yeah. else like this in Barcelona. Nothing so else. Thinking there is, there isn't because most of Barcelona is a an old established centre where probably a typically. Six to eight floors is the maximum. There's nothing with 30 floors. Yeah. And new developments are hard to find. The space is limited. So Antares, in that sense, is unique. And the capital appreciation that we expect is very interesting because there won't be a project like this in, in the coming years, for sure. It's so similar to Birmingham. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> A These are more pictures of the, of the penthouse. And uh, just a quick question. Um, are these airbnb able? No, the city doesn't allow to issue more licenses in for Airbnb across the city. So it's not allowed. What you can do is that you can do mid-term rentals, which is with a minimum of 32 nights. Oh, okay. okay. Two nights. So you can rent the, the apartment 11 times. Yeah. And we can do, we can offer also internally property management service. So if a client, for example, would like to enjoy an apartment, maybe a few weeks during the year and rent out the rest of the year so that it gets paid up by itself, it's totally feasible. Okay, good we're expecting between 5 or 6% yield on the rentals at the moment. Okay, that's good. Okay. Barcelona has a shortage of rental units. Um, it's gone crazy, this, especially this year with the America's Cup. But uh, as a structural problem is that we don't have enough units for rentals. So, you know, it's a, always a very good investment to buy to rent. And the young professionals. So a lot of the very large international companies will quite happily pay very big money Um and it's quite often that would I would I be right in saying it's about six and a half thousand euros a month for one of the one of the smaller units? So one bedroom, correct. In fact, these are these are the prices, and these are real cases because we have five units of people that already bought at Antares, and we we are managing them. So it's a real real cases. And then the developer, an important feature is that it's not renting empty units. So we have a queue of potential tenants for Antares that we cannot really satisfy at the moment. So it, I think it would be fantastic if someone buys to, to rent because um, it's, a, it's a really good business. A quick question that's just come in. Um, I'm not quite sure if you're covering it later, but mortgages? Mortgages? Sure. Um, I mean, mortgages at the moment um, can be offered on a fixed rate basis or at around 2%. Um, we can give access to the bank that is financing Antares, but we can also introduce to mortgage brokers that have very good deals with uh, institutions and they are very, very competitive. But you can get up to typically 60%. If you need more than that, we can structure also uh, another contact that can cover up to 80%, but the standard for, for a retail buyer is a 60% LTV. Sorry, can you so when you look at the two percent, two percent uh, mortgage rate, I yeah. mean, we would die to have those sort of um, products in London, which we don't. I mean, the minimum yeah. really is six percent. So, 
Yeah, well, interest rates are going down, and uh, now actually I went to a, you know what uh, we have a broker partner that it's an online broker that you are very familiar in England. We we are not that familiar here in Spain, but it's picking up. So there are new companies that are being very competitive and are offering interest rates that are very appealing and they are not charging anything to the client. They, they get it from, from the banks. So in fact, last night at the conference, they were saying that the rates that were offered, it was just below 2%. It's a compelling investment. Uh, mm -hmm. for, for anyone, because you've got the, the yield spread between a mortgage rate and also the yield, uh, and you've also got capital growth. This sort of construction is hugely expensive to build. And so, therefore, nobody can go undercutting it. In actual fact, it's the opposite. Construction mm -hmm. costs are still rising more than the, more than the, the, the values. Uh, so this is why this is a finished product. There's no developer risk. And you can actually nail down the numbers because you can put your 40% top slice in, get a 60% mortgage. You know you can get it rented pretty much instantly. And mm -hmm. we're not just saying that. As Anna said, there's a, a queue of people that want to rent. This is a, this is a, a wonderful, I nearly swore then, it's a marvellous uh, proposition. Yeah, it is, in fact. And actually, a um, very important piece of news that I can give you as, you know, as a brand new is that we are offering a limited number of three bedroom units uh, during the summer that will be offered at a 15% discount. Okay. We yeah, this is for, you know, if we, reservations can be done during the month of July and the closing by the end of the summer, these discounts can be applied to, to the three bedroom units. So this is super. This is brand new. This is uh, it's very, very exclusive. We haven't sent it to the market. We haven't advertised it to the market. So I can give you the, you know, the first ever piece of, of news to you. Breaking news. We heard it here first. Breaking news, exactly. <laughs> but it's very good because it's... A question is coming from my very good friend, Corrine, um, and she asks, uh, looks, she just says that it's beautiful, uh, but she has got a client looking elsewhere in Spain. Uh, Anna, are you able to help people elsewhere in Spain? Absolutely. We I'm based in Barcelona, but I, I have uh, contacts uh, throughout Spain. In fact, uh, you know, Madrid is very, very busy at the moment. We have uh, collaborators in, in the islands and we have in Malaga as well. So, yeah, we can be kind of like the person of trust via Holborn in, in Spain, of course. Can I just say it's, it's, it's my intention that everything that we do will be conduited through Anna. Uh, it's the right way to build up a solid relationship. She's hugely professional. She's very, very well connected. We went and had a meeting while I was there as well with Kexia Bank, who uh, Anna used to work for. And she, and she was so hugely respected. It was wonderful to see where people were coming up and putting their arms around and giving her a hug. She, uh, yeah. and, and when we were walking in the streets of Barcelona, every corner, she knew somebody because <laughs> her whole life's been there. And yeah. um, and she does have an affinity with the UK. Um, mm. So, you know, I, I think it's really important that we build that that relationship. I intend making it a very solid business relationship. Yeah, thank you, Pete. I mean, it was great to have you here and that you get to see Barcelona. I also feel very connected to to England. So I think it can, we can be a very successful team. Thank you very much. That's lovely, Anna. Um, lots of questions come in, but I think we've covered most of them. Um, all I can say is, if anybody's interested, they come direct, go through your wealth manager, come direct to Holborn, come to me, Chris Allen at HolbornAssets.com, uh, or obviously Pete, the same one. Um, this will be on our website. This recording will be on the website probably before the end of the day, um, along with other recordings that we've done of shows from Birmingham, Manchester, York, London, Brighton. So please, if you've got any questions, uh, let us know. If you've got any interest, let us know. Pete, so tonight is going to be Spain versus Germany. What do you think? I believe Spain are going to win the tournament. And that's as an Englishman saying that, in my opinion, we're not good enough. Um, and I've just come back from a few days in uh, Mallorca. 
Um, so I, I'm going to be wearing a, a, a Spanish shirt tonight, a Barcelona. <laughs> so well, uh, let's let's see that uh, the the best is going to win. Hopefully, the Spanish, but you know, but, <laughs> you but, never but know. What I would say is when the when the Premiership season starts and Southampton are lucky enough to go back in into the Premiership, I'm buying Anna a Southampton shirt. She's now officially a Southampton fan of England. <laughs> Thank you. Well, whoever's the advice into Antares, we, we, we will get also Spanish football shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, tomorrow night, England time, five o'clock, England are going to thrash Switzerland. So uh, put your money on that. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Thank you, Pete. Thank Anna. you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, you, Anna. Thank you, you thank too. Everybody. Thank you very thank much. You, bye. Bye-bye.